be on your doorstep Mission accomplished. We just caught the top gun of the natural world. One of the largest and fastest dragonflies of North America, the Green Darner. The dragonfly, of course, was the basis of the helicopter, and that's why I'm wearing this aviator outfit. Let's take a look at this winged wonder. It has an exoskeleton, as all insects do, but since dragonflies fly a lot, and this one flies 50 to 75 feet above the ground, you know, an exoskeleton can be heavy, so this guy has hollow parts inside its exoskeleton to make it lighter. It has hollow pockets. This cool dragonfly has huge eyes, just gigantic compound eyes on the front here that come together at the top of the head. It also has incredible jaws. The reason they call this the dragonfly is because it is a flying dragon. It will fly around perusing the air for insects to catch and eat. And with a one this size, it can catch some pretty big insects. Now take a look at the wings. These giant wings keep it perusing up and down, backwards and forwards, all around at frightening speeds. Now you will notice that when the green darner hides from predators on the ground and in the grasses and bushes, his camouflage works just perfectly. Look at the color of the green here. It matches right here with his head and his body. And his thorax, or his abdomen down here, ties right in with the light color of the roots of this grass. Now here we have the giant rubber dragonfly of science. And I have it here to show you because what happens is when the dragonfly lays its eggs, it actually lays them in the water in streams or ponds or lakes. And how it does that is the female will hover and fly over top of the surface of the water and throw her abdomen down and shoot the eggs into the water. Plop, 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 just like that. And then what will happen is that when the eggs hatch, the babies will come out as little water nymphs. And they will catch tadpoles and be little carnivorous predators in the pond. And they'll live there for part of the spring and the summer. And then they'll climb out onto a rock or on a branch. Their skin will break out and they'll be a dragonfly. And the life cycle will continue. <laughs> 